Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. Hey you guys, I went back to Germany. <laughs> Oh, but we came here, but we're not allowed to, to park here or anything. But I wanted to show you guys. I saw this on the map and I thought, oh, I'm going to go there. But it says you're not allowed to park. Well, on the other side, I'm allowed to park, but it says you're not allowed to go in here. But I want to show you guys what I'm looking at. So I drove to the outer edge of the road which ends at this house and it said you're not allowed to park here does it go any further no but in the front it says you're only allowed to park on the left side so i think i'm going to go back a little bit park on the left side of the road and then i'm going to see if we can go over there because i only saw uh need betrayed to the right so you're only not allowed to go some places so i hope i do see some footprints so I really wanted to walk with the dogs around this water because that would be amazing. But um, if, it, if I only see that we're not allowed to be here, then I'll just go somewhere else. But this water looks so awesome and I think my dogs would really like to go and bathe their feet in it. perfect so there's a woman here with a dog so she's going to walk her dog here so I asked her half Dutch half German half English if because she was only uh, German if we can talk uh, if I can walk my dogs here and she said yeah because I said this there's a sign she says yeah but that's just t for this guy who's the owner because it's private property to cover himself that if you get injured or something happens to you so if you fall into the lake or whatever that he's not responsible but you are allowed to go in there so i'm gonna go in there i don't care we're not gonna get injured so i'm gonna go have fun there water is seriously so clear I would actually like to go in here myself but because it said that you're not allowed to go in th this place I'm not gonna take off my clothes if it would have been it looks really good you could just walk in here and then have like a nice bath but I'm not gonna do it because <laughs> I want to be able to leave if somebody says we have to leave <laughs> Oh, but it's really stunning. Do you think it's really dangerous to go in here past that point? Because it looks like there's this ledge and then woof, deep depth and then there's probably currents or something. So I would never do it, but I could just sit here. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it, but I was looking at it like, ah. Oh. That would be nice. My dogs are enjoying, so... They, they were kind of hot, so it's good that they can uh, cool down in the water a little bit. They're gonna get dirty, but that's okay. guys this place is 
absolutely stunning. Bo Bobby just went on my lap with sand, wet sand paws, and it's dirty, but this place is so beautiful. I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit with them because it's warm and they can go into the water here. And then we're gonna walk back to the van. It's gorgeous here. This is like, I love just looking on the map and then seeing this and just like be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go there. Oh, there was this beautiful little flying thing. <laughs> Oh, I love this so much. guys so i'm in germany trying to find a parking space i couldn't really find anything here so i thought okay i'll go somewhere else and now i'm running into the problem that i don't have any internet here and my maps are not offline available because i didn't download them so i'm thinking of driving somewhere where there's more stores hopefully there will be more coverage so i can download the online maps because this isn't working i can't see where i have to go and I'm so reliable of my phone in this case because it needs to tell me where to go. So, yeah, I have to find a way for this. And I'm not really freaking out yet because it's like uh, 2 o'clock, so I have all this time. But I don't like that this is happening. I am not good, well prepared here. So, yeah, let me try and figure this out. Okay, so there's no Wi Fi here, but I got myself a pretzel to make it up to me. <laughs> but, um,. There's no Wi-Fi here, so we have to drive back to where I did have cell reception, try and get the maps, the offline maps, so that I can, because it's trying to find Wi-Fi, I don't have Wi-Fi, so, so that I can um, update the maps, because Google Maps isn't working, and I'm like, wait, where do I have to go? What? What's happening? So, but I got a pretzel, so everything's fine. <laughs> For some reason the internet just was working so I'm now downloading maps. I need to download some more because it was freaking out. It didn't tell me where to go and I was like where do I need to go maps? Hey so I got super overwhelmed at the parking spot for the Aldi and it's now around 3 o'clock. But I'm super tired because I got the knocks last night and I couldn't really sleep after that, after the second knock. So um, I decided to go back to this water that we where we were this morning. There's a couple of more people here now. And we're just gonna chill here for a little bit and the internet's better here so I can see because we're very close to the Netherlands I'm gonna see where I'm gonna go. I was thinking okay, maybe just go back to Ape because that's where I'm gonna go back eventually But I thought no Just try and find something so I just need to relax for a little bit and then I'll probably find something that I'll really like Hey, so I've been having an internal struggle this entire afternoon and I thought I would just get real with you guys and explain why this is happening. Hi, Pilu. When I started making my van build, I had a business on the side. So I stopped my business for 10 years and created a new business. I quickly came to the realization that that wasn't working and that I needed to have another business to do my van life uh, story. 
of course I started YouTube which I'm enjoying very much and I love making these videos and it's like my own journal that I can look back on many years to come to see where I was in that point in time but I am now in Germany I drove to Germany I can't really find a place that I would really feel comfortable staying and the first night in the van not on private property I got a bit well I was a little bit anxious so I didn't really sleep well and the second night I got woken up twice or woken up in the middle of the night and knocked on in the evening so I didn't really have a good night's sleep so I was thinking okay just go back to Eva where my friend is where I have a safe space because tomorrow everything will be closed in Germany anyway and I don't think I'm allowed to stay here so if I would stay here I would be staying uh, aside from the road I don't think that's good it's only an hour drive so I was thinking just go to the Aldi get some more pretzel bread and go back home home is too good. Um, but I was getting annoyed because I was saying to myself like if you're gonna do van life for the internet all the time you won't have a place like this but the thing that's happening is this when finishing my van build I put all my last money in the van everything I have is in the van I don't have any money left <laughs> so um, I'm making this new business but I'm struggling with some things with creating this business but that's okay I'll, I'll figure it out but this business isn't here yet so I don't have an income an income as of the first of March so I'm working on it so I'm you know spending time on it but it's not work I'm not having an income out of it yet so my thing was that if I would be hey Pilu uh, she's putting sand on me you know if I would be doing van life for real, like not going back to Hus every time because it's a safe place to stay and it doesn't cost me anything, um, I would just go further into Germany. I would just go into Germany, find another spot because I've been looking at places, but it's an hour drive away from here, which means it's two hours away from Epe. And I need to get back there in a couple of days or because I don't have any money for more gas. That's basically what it's coming to. So, um... Yeah, so I was saying to myself, like, you can't give up because this is like practice round. And then I said to myself, no, because the thing is, I only have this tight, this small range of places I can go. I'm not really looking forward to trying more spots in the Netherlands because it's either a spot that you're allowed to stay in in the middle of a town, which I don't like, or it's an illegal spot and you're going to get knocked on probably. <laughs> I don't want to do that if I have a perfectly good spot an hour away from here. So, I finally had to come to the conclusion that um, this isn't what it would be if I would do fan life uh, like for real because then I would have money for gas. I would just go further, further, further until I find a, I reach this place that I really like and then hang around there a little bit and then go a little bit further or go a little bit to the left or whatever. It doesn't matter because I don't have to be back somewhere. And um, I was just kind of telling myself the entire day that that wasn't an option going back to Ape, which it is. I was just doing this trip for fun. But um, I feel like I'm holding myself back with these things. And I, I think it's a bit hard for me to be open about this. Because I wanted to show... I wanted to um, share this journey with you guys. Once I would have my business up and running and money coming back in. Then I would want to share with you guys what place I was in right now. But it's come to that I'm just going to share this with you guys now. I'm broke. <laughs> I have my van built and uh, I live in it that's it that's all I have and I'm 100% sure that in a couple of months everything is gonna be looking better and that we're gonna travel 100% sure not even doubt no doubt in my mind that that's gonna happen but I just have to get my business up and running and um, so that's why I have decided and I'm just gonna walk my dogs here, enjoy this place one more time because there's also a lot of clouds coming in. So it could mean it's gonna be colder nights. So I would really like to be back <laughs> with Gus then. So um, I'm gonna go to the Aldi, do some nice shopping that I would really like to do. And then we're just gonna head back and um, enjoy ourselves. Oh, I have to check if the Aldi will be open. <laughs> I don't even know. We're just gonna go back to Ape and get get um, busy with getting the uh, new business up so I can start doing the van life. But there's also a couple of things that in May I would have to have to be back in the Netherlands anyway because my grandmother is turning 90 and she's giving a big party so of course I'll be there. 
And then in July, my mother is turning 75. Uh, sorry, mom. 65. <laughs> sorry, mom. Sorry, mom. 65 years old. And she's also giving a party, so I'm coming back for her as well. And um, so I have to be back in May and July anyway, so that's why I haven't decided anything further away. Plus, I don't have any money for that. But also, I would have to be back anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, I just want to be open about that with you guys so that you know why I'm still hanging around here and doing all these short trips. Because I do want to experience the van life for real. But I'm just getting used to the van and um, chilling at my friend's house. And, you know, if there's a kink, if there's something in the van that needs to be sorted out, I can sort it out. So that's awesome. And also, I just got a text message that my baskets are in. So I'm going to pick those up to, uh, on t Monday. It's Saturday today, so tomorrow they're going to be closed. So on Monday, I'm going to pick it up. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that too, because if I have the baskets, I can do a van life tour, because then the tour is, then the van is built and done, so. Okay, I'm gonna get my dogs. We're gonna head back to the Netherlands. Good morning. Guess what? My baskets are in. Hey guys, here are the baskets I have been waiting for. Hey, Norcha. For so long. They're here. I can't believe that they're here. They look so beautiful. I'm so happy. I can't wait. Look how gorgeous they are. I love all these colors and... Yes, I'm so happy that they're here. Now I'm gonna take out the boxes, put everything in the baskets and see if they fit because I don't actually know if they fit. So now I have them here and I also have them up there. Yes, yes, yes. So happy they don't actually fit perfect right now, but I can fix it, it's okay. So I'm gonna do that and then, oh, they look so stunning. Pilou is frustrated. Pilou, she's a little bit frustrated, but so happy I'm gonna get them ready. Yes, 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 yes. You guys, I can't tell you, I've been waiting for months on these baskets and they've actually exceeded my expectations. They are absolutely stunning. And what I love about these baskets uh, in comparison to uh, cabinets is that if I want one of these things, I just take it off. I can reach everything really well, I can organize it, and then I just put it back in. So that's what I really like about my baskets. And they are so gorgeous. I love the way they... Um, have a little bit of contrast with the ceiling and the branches that I made under there are stunning. Now the only thing that I want to do is there's some screw holes. Like there's also some screw holes in some branches but I need to get the right color filler and I might do that in May when I'm back into Tamir or I may do it somewhere when I'm when I see it somewhere here in the store but I don't really visit any more building stores because I don't have to. But I'm really happy with how it's looking with these branches that I just last minute thought of and oh, it's so I'm so happy with how everything is working it's working very well it's looking really nice oh so happy about it look how stunning I really really love it I really love it good morning you guys so it's time to cut my hair I shaved all the blonde off so I shaved my entire head uh, I don't know two months ago or something and now I am going to cut it Hopefully I can do that myself because I really want to learn to do it myself. I tried to make two equal parts. It's kind of hard to see if it's in the middle or if it's 
evenly divided. But I watched a tutorial yesterday from Brett, Brett Mondo where he gave a tutorial on how to do this. So up the head, off the head, up the head, off the head, up the head, off the head. That's the thing that he kept uh, saying the most. And I can't really clip it because it's so short. It's only this long, so I can't really do anything about that. But I'm just going to try and cut it. Let's see what happens. Okay, well that's good. I feel uh, fresh. I have a haircut again instead of just one length all over. Yeah, it feels good. Well, it's itchy. I have to get a shower. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy about it. Oh my god, you guys. People are texting me like, Kim, it's gonna snow. Are you okay? Somebody actually texted me like, put something over your solar panel. And I said, yeah, right. It'll melt. <laughs> but I have no idea. When you go to snow, do you put something on your solar panel? And I don't think I need it. And it's going to snow, but it's also going to warm. So everything's going to melt. And if it gets crazy, I'll just go and hook myself up on the electricity. But yeah. I'm really looking forward to having some snow in the morning. It's going to be weird because like a couple of days ago, I was wearing my sun hat. <laughs> I couldn't even wear my my vest because it was so warm. Now tomorrow it's going to snow. It will be so cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow.